What makes conflict resolution so crucial in the workplace? Imagine a typical office scenario. Two departments are at odds over resources, tensions rise, productivity drops, and the work environment becomes toxic. Sounds familiar? Well, you're not alone. Today, we're going to explore effective strategies to resolve conflicts in the workplace using real-life case studies to illustrate each strategy. Let's begin with a systematic approach to managing and resolving disputes. This involves a combination of active listening, empathy, problem-solving, negotiation, and sometimes mediation. Each of these strategies plays a crucial role in maintaining a healthy work environment and ensuring that all team members can collaborate effectively. Active listening is the first step. It's about encouraging everyone involved to express their viewpoints while others listen attentively. Then comes empathy, where we try to understand each person's perspective and feelings. Next up is problem solving. Here, the involved parties work together to identify the root cause of the conflict and find a mutually beneficial solution. Negotiation is another key strategy where dialogue is used to reach an agreement that satisfies all parties, and sometimes it may be necessary to involve a neutral third party for mediation. Now, let's bring these strategies to life with real-life case studies. Harvard's program on negotiation offers a wealth of resources, including case studies on conflict resolution strategies. One such strategy is understanding cultural norms to overcome barriers at the negotiation table. Another involves the use of multiple equivalent simultaneous offers, or MISOs, to create value in deal-making. Harvard Business School Online discusses five strategies for conflict resolution in the workplace. These strategies highlight the importance of addressing conflict for the well-being of employees and the financial health of the company. Finally, the Conflict Resolution Guide presents five case studies illustrating effective conflict resolution strategies. The guide concludes with best practices for building a positive work environment through conflict resolution. Here's a practical example. A multinational corporation faced a conflict between its marketing and sales departments over resource allocation. The conflict was resolved through a series of negotiations and mediations, where both departments were encouraged to communicate their needs and concerns openly. The resolution involved reallocating resources in a way that both departments found acceptable and establishing a regular communication channel to prevent similar conflicts in the future. To wrap it up, effective conflict resolution in the workplace requires a blend of active listening, empathy, problem solving, negotiation, and potentially mediation. It calls for a proactive approach to address issues before they escalate and a commitment to maintaining a positive work environment. The case studies from reputable sources like Harvard provide valuable insights into the practical application of these strategies. So next time you find yourself in the middle of a workplace conflict, remember these strategies and case studies. They might just help turn a potentially destructive situation into a constructive one.